All right, memory verse for this week. This one's a difficult one. This one you're not going to just be able to, I think, look at it and remember, unless you're very smart. This one's very difficult. Okay, maybe the younger kids would be a bit harder. This verse is from Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. This is going to be our memory verse. This one's the first one that's going to be a bit challenging, okay? So it says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Oh, this one's going to be a bit more difficult, isn't it? So let's think about, let's read it together, and then we can, I can give you some tips on how you can memorize it. All right, think about it. Ready? Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. I was trying to memorize this one last night. I'll try and say it to you. Hopefully I don't mess it up. All right, you ready? Uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. How did I do? Good? All right. So let me tell you how I kind of think about it to help you guys remember this. So I remember it starts with a question. So that's the first thing I think about. Have not I commanded thee? That's the question. Be strong and of a good courage. Now, I know this one because this is the famous, this is where we're focusing on today. We're talking about having courage, right? Just having strong character. Be strong and of our good courage. This is what a lot of people forget. And of our good courage rather than and of good courage. Be strong and of a good courage. And then this phrase is repeated. You've got be not afraid, so don't be scared. Neither be thou dismayed. So this is the same thing said twice, isn't it? Don't be afraid, neither be thou dismayed. That's how I remember it. And then this last passage I remember together because God is always with me. Right? So has God commanded me? I need to be strong and have good courage. Don't be scared. That's the next phrase. And then the last one is God is always with me. Think, have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Be not dis thou dismayed. Be thou neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with the servant of thy God. So that's how I memorize it. So I kind of remember it in four parts. Okay? I'll let you guys have a look at it, and then we'll see if one person can have a go at it afterwards. Not so easy, this one. Okay. But today, we are talking about... Hey, you two. Pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, that's one of the rules. Pay attention. Be of good... Courage. Courage. Who knows what courage is? Does anyone know what the word courage is? When you're courageous. Courageous is based off the word courage. Think about a, a soldier going into battle. is very courageous. What is he? What do you think? Careful. careful? Oh, no. But they do have to be careful when they go out there. That's not what courageous means, though. Timothy. Brave, very good. Courage is bravery. Oh, look at this guy. Bravery. Well, he's at least uh, tied on here. He'd be even more courageous if he wasn't tied on there. <laughs> so what is bravery? What is courage? Does courage mean that you're never scared? No, all of us get scared, don't we? All of us have fears. If you think people that are courageous don't have any fears, you're wrong. Everybody has fears. I'm sure even this man is fearful of what he's going to do, walk along the tightrope across these two, you know, rock cliffs. But you know the difference? It, so courage is not when you're not scared at all. Courage is even if you're scared, you do it anyway. Right? That's what courage is. You think when a soldier goes into battle, then they're not scared. They might be scared of getting hurt, might be scared of, get, of dying. But because of a greater reason, they go in and they face that fear and they do it anyway. Okay? So don't get 
Don't get mixed up. Courage doesn't mean you're never scared. All of us get scared. You say, Vic, do you get scared sometimes too? Yeah, I get scared. My family's seen me scared. <laughs> but courage means even if you're scared, you do it anyway. Right? So you don't have to be big and strong to have courage, do you? Like here, maybe on the outside, you may just look like a cat. But if you're courageous, if you have bravery on the inside, you can be bold as a lion, like the Bible says. The wicked flee, and no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Do you know what that means? It means the wicked, those who are not righteous, even if nobody's chasing them, they're still running away. Hey, pay attention up here, guys. Pay attention up here. Noah, eyes up here, please. Eyes up here. Don't be distracted when people come in. Eyes up here, Sarah. Eyes up here. Very good. I can see everyone's eyes. Atticus, can I see your eyes? Very good. Okay, so being brave, being courageous doesn't mean you have to be big and strong. Right? Because it's inside that counts. See, on the outside, you may look like a little pussycat. But on the inside, the right frame of mind, and you know why you should have courage, you can be bold as a lion. Now, if we look at our verse here, what is the secret in this verse to being strong and of a good courage? What's the secret? Do you see the secret in the verse? Why are we able to be bold and have courage? And what does that mean? That's right. So some people are bold and courageous and brave because they think they trust in their own strength. Remember like Samson? Samson but then remember when he lost his strength. Right? So his strength wasn't based on him. It needs to be based on God. So why? Simon got it right. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with us soever thou goest. So you don't have to be scared of facing challenges because we know that this God, the omnipotent, all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere, that God is with thee. He's with you. Pay attention, you two. You two. Hey, hey you. Excuse me. Where are you looking? Turn around. The Lord thy God is with thee, with us whoever thou goest. All right. What's a couple of ways that we can be courageous? We can show bravery. What's this? Not only can we have courage and be brave because we know God is with us, we can also develop some skills and abilities as well, can't we? So here, this is skills. What are skills? Skills are knowing how to do things. Knowledge is the more you learn, the more you know. Right? What's abilities? Abilities, what do you think? Yeah, Ability to do things, that's right. So if you think about, this is learning things. This is learning how to do things. And abilities is how good you get at those things that you learn how to do. Right? So if you improve in these three areas, this can also help you have some courage as well. Okay? So what's some ways we can have courage? Here's an example. <laughs> this one applies to me. All right? Some courage. What do you think is on here, Simon? What's some ways you can show courage? <laughs> Killing those co big cockroaches flying around. See? People can be scared of cockroaches. When you show courage, it's like even though you're scared, you're going to deal with the problem anyway. Right? Like this person, see, he's killed the cockroach. That's one way you can show courage. Yes, Simon? <laughs> I know, they can move really quick, can't they? All right, that's another way. Oh, remember this picture? What's another way you can show some courage and bravery? What do you think, Sarah? Standing up to a bully. That's right. Sometimes bullies might be picking on people you know, picking on some maybe even you don't know. You see somebody getting picked on, 
suddenly take some courage to tell the bully to stop. I remember how we learned about different skills, abilities, knowledge. Hey, it helps if you know a little bit of self-defense, don't you? Then when you stand up to the bully, not only do you know God is with you, but you're going to have some skills and abilities to be able to stop them, aren't you? They keep trying to bully people. That's another way we can show courage. I got one more for you. One more for you. What's another way we can show courage and bravery? What's happening here? Mateo. Preaching the gospel. That's right, boldly. Some people are scared that people know they're a Christian. No, we don't want to be scared. People know that we're believers. Sometimes people are a bit scared what people will think if they try and tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ. So it takes a bit of courage, doesn't it? You might be worried, you might be scared, but take some courage to open your mouth boldly. Look at this. Make known the mystery of the gospel. Some people are scared sometimes to go out, talk to strangers, tell them the gospel. And we need courage, don't we? We need to be strong and have a good courage. Go out, let people know about Jesus. Okay, so that's just three examples. Uh, Philippa, do you have one that, uh, do you have something that you can give me? No, just the, the craft that we're going to do. So today we've got a craft. And there's, uh, Thank you. Ones that apply to them. Yes. All right, so today this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a poster and we're going to write courage in the middle. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to like draw different pictures and you can come up with some ideas of how to be courageous. So maybe when we went through the three examples, you were thinking... Okay, those are some examples that we have. Maybe you've got some other examples in your mind. Well, that's what we're going to draw. We're going to draw different ways that you can have courage. Right? So this is here saying, I'm a Christian. What's this one? Philippa, what's this one? Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Yes, very good. Yeah, I like that one too. So this, I thought, is he standing, are they standing up to a bully? No, we already did this. This one is maybe you're scared sometimes to go say hello to somebody. You know, greet them, be friendly, trying to make a friend, that requires some courage too. You know, because sometimes the person doesn't want to be your friend. And sometimes people are scared of that rejection. But no, we need courage. Make friends. Okay, thank you, Philippa. Just for that. All right, so here is the... Uh, thank you. Our memory verse. Who thinks they are able to recite this one? Has anyone remembered it, or remembered it already? Memorized it already? This one's a bit difficult. This one's going to require some work. All right, let's read it together. So this one will be in your book of Bible verses to memorize. You ready? Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Okay, so that one will be in your book. All right, let's all stand up.